hawk, I just absolutely annihilated a chicken parm from the calf. I probably have some stuff in my jizz right now. I don't want to look. <laughs> but on a way more important note, we just got some huge news coming from insider trading. Meanwhile, the World Championship approaches Team Canada continues to put its team together. Connor Bedard, the first overall pick from last year, is going. Could the first overall pick coming this year be going as well? He could be. Macklin celebrating. He's been asked by Team Canada to uh, report to the Worlds, and uh, the expectation is that he will accept. Connor Bedard and Macklin Celebrini might be representing Canada at this year's World Championships in Prague, which is just insane to think about. It's crazy, and first of all, World Championships, I feel like every year there's such an underrated group of like so many star players that are on this stage, but the fact that you can see Bedard and Celebrini, two like, obviously Bedard, generational, generational prospect, and Celebrini is very, very highly touted as well, the opportunity for these guys to play on the same team together, as young as they are, for Team Canada. Could be a look into the future. Yeah, with other like NHL stars. Sh yeah, Chicago could get the number one pick. Yeah. Wouldn't be out of the question. Man, you know what? There's really good talent at this tournament every year, but this this is different. I'm sorry. Like, first of all, Connor Bedard, every time that guy hit the, pop, hit the ice this year, he was unbelievable. Now that we get to see him on an international stage representing Canada with another potential number one overall pick is just absurd. Like this is, this is as must watch hockey as it gets. Like we love NHL playoffs as much as anyone, but like you got to be tuning in just just as much into this. In my opinion, like this is going to be so exciting, and this is also an audition too. I mean, the Olympics are around the corner. Connor Bedard, he can leave a good impression here, and I'm just going to say this too as players. Why wouldn't you want to play in this tournament? You got a you got a trip to Prague where you yeah. can just like be with a bunch of your buddies that you play hockey with and buddies that you play hockey against. You just you have the time of your life. You get to see one of the most beautiful beautiful cities in the world. It's like this is an absolute no brainer. I know that they confirmed Dylan Cousins is going to be there. Bowen Byram is going to be there. Colin Pareko, Jordan Binnington is going to yeah. be the attendee. Like there's some serious talent, and, and and Team USA is going to have some good players from what we're hearing. Like. I th like this. This is a no-brainer, and and you need to be tuning into. I personally, I'm gonna be tuning into every single one of Canada's games. Like this is this is different than other years. When you think about Connor Bedard, like you said, first year in in the NHL, he looked really good, but he was playing on a bad Chicago team. wasn't really playing in any real competitive games. When I think about my favorite moments watching this guy in his very very young career, it's with Team Canada, one of the most electric World Junior players, maybe ever. Probably and the most ever. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that we get to see him once again for Canada, competing for a medal, like, I'm so, so excited for this. It, man, honestly, such a good point. I mean, no offense to Chicago or anything, but obviously that team is nothing to write, write home about. But now we're going to get to see Bedard with some incredible talent. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to see what this guy is really about and, and, and what he... Could, like what he very well will likely become in the future when Chicago keeps building their roster because he really did not have a lot of great players to play with this year. He, he, he's going to fit in. I, I'm calling Bedard is going to put up like MVP numbers at this tournament. And another thing that we haven't really talked about, man, could you imagine if Sidney Crosby decides yeah. to go to this? <laughs> Crosby, Bedard, and Celebrini. Like imagine those guys on the same power play yeah. together. And imagine that power play when Kale McCarr joins the team after the Jets knock the Avalanche out in the first round. It's going to be insane. A little, little too optimistic for you over there, I think. But Yeah, well, you know what? what we went 3-0 and against the Avs this year. Outscored them 17-4. to But hey, I guess the Jets are just going to get swept, right? Well, I think... Let's stay on topic here. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe Mark Shifley can, can be like a fourth forward on that power play. What'd you say to me? <laughs> I mean, I've seen the Jets get swept before to your Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, buddy. How has your team been doing since that sweep? Not good, eh? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I, I, I've said it once. I'll say it again. I'm, I'm honestly not even just saying this is not like a homer. Like, I think this is going to be an absolute must-watch tournament, specifically for Canada. I know whenever Chicago was on TV, I tried to tune into them as much as I could. But now, Team Bedard playing with way better talent. It's like, and Celebrini, you get a look at what the first overall pick is going to look like. Come on! Like, come on! This is going to be amazing. Would you roll Celebrini and Bedard? I know Celebrini is a centerman, but there, there's so much talent on these Canada teams. Would you roll them on the same line together? Like you said, could be a look into the future. Fuck, Chicago wins know, that lottery. You know me, man. Of course I would. I'm all for that kind of stuff. Like, are you kidding me? Go Canada! <laughs>